Ah, ice cream, that chilled treat that so many enjoy with its sweet fruity flavours, or perhaps chocolate, perhaps toffee, perhaps famous savoury sauces. Yes, welcome to the frightening world of Heinz Creams. Ah, oh, it's so big, it's blotting out the sun. And by sun, I mean the lights. So, yeah, uh, Heinz, they of the 57 varieties established 1869. I believe they were established in 1869. I believe the 57 varieties was literally just picked out of the air because the number sounded cool. They already had like way more than 60 varieties by the time they came up with it. Numbers and marketing, weird. Anyway, yeah, um, they came up with the idea of ice creams named after their famous sources. Oh wait, I don't just mean named after, I mean tasting of. So, you know, ketchup and barbecue sauce and all that kind of stuff. Which one did I get? Allow me to excite you with this, I can't even fit it in camera, this giant box full of almost nothing. Salad cream. I'm doing this in honour of my very good friend, Phil, who really loves salad cream and has it on many savoury dishes. I'm pretty sure he doesn't put it on his ice cream and I don't think he's going to start any time soon, but hey, it's an experiment. I'll save some for you, Phil. <clears throat> And this was when Stuart never heard from Phil again. So, um, yeah, it's deliciously zingy. If you're not familiar with salad cream, it's like a sort of vinegary um, salad dressing, I suppose. Simple as. It's water, spirit vinegar, rapeseed oil, sugar, mustard powder, modified corn flour, none of this basic corn flour for us, pasteurised egg yolks, salt colour, and riboflavin. Or is riboflavin the colour? I don't know enough about riboflavin to tell you that. But I can tell you um, that, yeah, I don't mind it. I haven't salad sometimes. It's fine. I'm not a huge fan of it, but I, neither do I dislike it. In ice cream, I'm going to have a different opinion, I feel. But um, <clears throat> So, yeah, this was £15, this box. Fifteen fucking pounds. Let me tell you the little story. I didn't look into it enough, because <laughs> I assumed the reason it was so frighteningly expensive to get some ice cream for £15 is because, you know, they've got to spend a fortune you know, sending it via some sort of um, cryo service to keep it cold or whatever through the post. In fact, you buy a big empty box full of litter and you get some salad cream, an entirely empty pot. Hang on, let you get the top off. There we go. Look, nothing inside, entirely empty. A piece of cardboard with the recipe on. A slightly cheap feeling metal ice cream scoop. A spoon. Again, slightly cheap. cheap feel. Oh, no, no, I take back the cheap thing actually. That's quite a strong metal. That's good. That's something. A spoon. And uh, that, that's it. £15 for a big empty box, a load of stuff that's going to go in the recycling or the bin, depending where you are. Um, some salad cream, which incidentally currently retails for £2.30, meaning I spent £12.70 on an empty plastic tub of the type I have many sitting around anyway, a fucking spoon, of which I have many, and an ice cream scoop, which again, I already have. This feels cheaper because the uh, handle's hollow. Just work that out. So, yeah, I feel a little bit ripped off, especially because I apparently need 250 grams of double cream, 150 grams of condensed milk, 60 grams of whole milk, and a 30 gram squeeze of Heinz salad cream. Equipment. This is just ice cream. This is just making ice cream at home. Um, it's, it's just a box with simple instructions for ice cream, an empty fucking tub, and some salad cream for £15. I'm annoyed. Can you tell, dear viewer? <clears throat> so anyway, I'm, I'm going to make some ice cream and then just stick some salad cream in it rather than anything for flavour. <laughs> going to be no sugar in it, there's going to be no chocolate, there's going to be no strawberry. Just a 30 gram squeeze of Heinz salad cream. I mean, I could have saved more money by, for instance, not spending £15 on this and just making some ice cream at home and then, I don't know, using like you know, some sort of supermarket brand salad cream, which to be honest, I think you can get about this much for 70p in like Tesco owned brand or something. So uh, other supermarkets are available. Don't know why I said that. I'm not a fucking BBC. Right. Time has come to go and make some ice cream and stick some salad cream in it.
Hell, it was 15 quid. I've got to do something with it. Ice cream! Ice cream! So, the proof of the salad cream's ice cream is in the eating. I was going to show a more detailed making of it, it just basically involved pouring cream into a mixer and then pouring that in here. So I've left it out of the freezer for about 20 minutes because I was expecting it to be quite hard because I don't know if you've ever made ice cream before. I've never really done it to any extent, but you have to kind of churn it um, part way through so that it doesn't go rock hard. And as we saw from the method earlier, you just mix this stuff up and put it in the freezer. So mm, could be spoon bendingly marvelous. Right, let's use the ice cream scoop so I can pretend I've got some value for money here. Uh, oh, the top's going to be difficult to come off. It forms a very good seal. Oh, oh, I left. Oh, good God. Maybe we should have eaten it straight from the freezer. Look at it. It's all gone bloody liquidy. Oh, well. Fine, let's get it out from the middle where it's still uh, more solid. Well, me worried about it being solid? No, no. They, they know what they're doing. The ice cream masters at Heinz. I quite like quite runny ice cream anyway. Right. Let's have a sniff of it. Oh. It smells of nothing except a very faint hint of vinegar. Well, go on then. This is going to be awful, isn't it? Ice cream away! Oh yeah, that's a nice solid bit. All right. Ah. Ah. Yeah, that's uh, that's disgusting. <laughs> there is the answer to that. Yeah. That's really, really horrible. So, um, basically, it tastes very, very creamy, but has got the hit on the top of salad cream. You know, sort of vinegar and God knows what. Oh, no, that's not for me. Um, I will say it's slightly less disgusting than I thought it would be, so th that's positive. Um, maybe if you really like salad cream, you might... I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to save it for my friend Phil and see what he thinks of it. <laughs> Yeah, and that mm, it's incredibly creamy, actually frighteningly creamy, I would go as far as to say. But the, yeah, oh, see, it's not bad now that the vinegar bit is uh, faded and I've just got the cream taste left. But oh dear, that's that's not a joy at all. I'm going to try a second hit, see if um, I get used to it or not. No, no, you don't. Oh, oh, the, the vinegary salad creamy taste hit immediately that time. Oh, that is not good. What does it sound here? Suggested topping. This indulgent dessert, this indulgent desert, yeah, typo of the year there, guys, is especially delicious when paired with the sweetness of summer strawberries. Ruin your strawberries by sticking them in this muck. Brilliant. Well, there we are. I think these are still available from hindsight. If you want to spend 15 quid in a plastic bucket, two spoons and some bloody salad cream you can buy for piss all. Uh, well... I fell for that one, didn't I? I wonder if they made this thinking, we'll get that sweet, sweet YouTube idiot money. <laughs> Actually, there can't be that many of us to uh, keep something like this going. Well, there we are. Food novelty. It's all the rage. Um, oh, but well, this is just all the nausea, really. What a horrible idea. But uh, the execution is uh, a rip-off as well. So I'm going to rate this 3 out of 57. Right, boy, boy.